Hey everyone, looking for more powerful multi cannons? Stronger, more efficient lasers? Faster, more nimble thrusters? Bigger jumps? Well, all this and more can be yours with just a little bit of engineering. And it's not as complicated as you might think. So here's everything you need to know. Let's do this. So the first step to engineering is unlocking the engineers. Each engineer specializes in two or three types of modules. So take a look at your engineers tab and you'll see which ones you currently have access to, what the requirements are for unlocking them, and what modules they can upgrade. So for example, the first engineer you'll likely unlock is Felicity Farseer, and to do that you'll need to achieve scout rank and exploration and bring her one meta alloy. So in my case, I've already unlocked Felicity, but the next engineer I'm looking for is Celine Jean to upgrade my hull and armor. So I need to provide 10 units of mined painite, which I just so happen to have in my cargo hold, but before I head over to her shop, let's make sure I have the materials I need to get the upgrades I'm looking for. For each component of your ship, you can choose one specific type of upgrade, and you can do that upgrade five times, with each new level providing a greater effect than the previous one. These levels are called grades. To do the actual upgrades, it won't cost you any money, instead you need to provide the materials. So let's take a look at materials for a second. Materials come in three classes, manufactured, encoded, and raw. Manufactured materials are exactly that, manufactured technology components. They can most commonly be found in salvage, such as planetary wrecks or from the floating wreckage of destroyed ships. Also, see the link on the screen now for a uh, <clears throat> less than honorable yet very effective way to obtain manufactured materials. Encoded materials are basically data. You get these from scanning other ships, uh, using your wake scanner to scan wakes, or from various data beacons scattered about. Raw materials are basically metals and other minerals, like nickel, tin, and iron. You get these mostly from mining asteroids or from geological formations on planets. Now another note about materials, they don't take up cargo space. So don't worry about having a big enough cargo hold, they'll just go right in your inventory. Also, they transfer automatically between ships, and you'll even keep them if your ship gets destroyed. Don't ask me why or how, I'm not complaining. So how do you know which materials you'll need for the upgrades that you want? I'd highly recommend not waiting until you get to the shop, but instead looking online at the Elite Dangerous Wiki, or Inara, or even better, check out the ED Engineer tool, which is available at the link below. Let's check out how to use it. So let's take a look at the upgrades I'm planning on making at Celine Jean's shop. First, we'll filter for just Celine Jean. Next, we'll filter for the module type I want to upgrade, which in this case is my armor. Next, we can search for the heavy duty upgrade, which increases the overall damage that my armor can take. So now we can see the five grades for the heavy duty armor upgrade. And if we click into each one, it'll show the materials needed for that step and will even tell us what we already have and what we still need to get. So in this case, looks like I just need carbon for grade one, carbon and shield emitters for grade two, and carbon, shield emitters, and high density composites for grade three. Notice that it's also telling me that I have all the materials I need to craft all of those right now. On the other hand, if we look at grade four, grade four requires shielding sensors and vanadium, which I have, but also requires proprietary composites, which I don't have. So, unless I go out and get some of those, I won't be able to move past grade 3. Now, why would it tell me I can craft each of these things 299 times, or 204 times? Well, as it turns out, each of these grades isn't just a one-time thing. There's actually some dice rolling involved here. So when you get to the shop, you'll spend these materials to roll the metaphorical dice, 
to get some amount of progress for each grade level before you can access the next grade. Overall, I budget the following number of rules for each grade, and that usually does the trick. 3 for grade 1, 4 for grade 2, 6 for grade 3, 8 for grade 4, and 12 for grade 5. Now let's look at how ED Engineer helps us plan this out. For each upgrade you're planning on doing, first add those grades to your shopping list. So I'll add grades 1, 2, and 3 here. Now let's account for the multiple rolls that I'll likely need to make for these upgrades. So go down to your shopping list and increase the numbers for each grade accordingly. So we'll add 3 rolls for grade 1, 4 rolls for grade 2, and 6 rolls for grade 3. So as we can see, for these 3 grades, I'll need 6 high density composites, 10 shield emitters, and 13 carbon, all of which I have. Now suppose I wanted to do grade 4, so let's add grade 4 to the list. And we'll go and allocate 8 rolls for grade 4. Now we can see I have enough of all these materials, but I'm short 8 units of proprietary composites. So how would I go about getting those? Well, if you don't have the exact materials you need, you can trade for them at a materials trader. Again, ED Engineer has you covered here. Just click the message here, and it'll tell you what you can trade to get the materials you're looking for. In my case, looks like I can trade either 48 conductive polymers or 48 high density composites to get the 8 proprietary composites that I need. So bring up Inara, go to search nearest, put in your current system, and then under station services put material trader. Now look for a nearby trader for the type of material that you need. In this case, I'm looking for a manufactured material trader, and there's one nearby, so off I go. Alright, now that I'm here, notice that materials come in five grades, which basically equates to their rarity. Also note that you can get better trades between materials that are in the same category. For example, I'm looking for proprietary composites, which are grade 4. If I click on those, it shows me that I can trade 48 conductive polymers, which are also grade 4. Or I can trade the same number, 48, of high density composites, even though they're only grade 3, because they're in the same category. So you see how you can trade material up or down depending on their grade and their category. Alright, enough of that. Let's get my materials and head to Celine Jean. And finally, we're here. By the way, all engineer shops are planetary settlements, so if you need a few tips on landing, just check out my guide here. So first, I'll unlock Selene by donating the 10 Painite that I brought. Now it'll show the modules that Selene can upgrade, and the access grade that I have with her. Now since I haven't worked with her before, I'm starting at grade 1, but this'll change as we do the upgrades. So now let's select the type of upgrade we want to do, in my case, armor, and then select the module we want to upgrade, which is obviously in my ship's lightweight alloys armor. Alright, here we go. On the left, you'll see the different types of upgrades offered. So I'll scroll down to heavy duty armor, click on grade 1, and it'll tell me the materials required to do the modification. In this case, just carbon for grade 1, and since we've done our homework already, we knew exactly what was required, so no surprises here. So hit generate modification, and let's do it. It'll let you know that it's going to use the materials and apply the upgrade, so click generate, and we'll do our first metaphorical dice roll. So we'll just keep rolling until we unlock grade 2, and you'll notice that each time we generate the upgrade, the module stats increase a bit, and our access grade with the engineer increases as well. Alright, we've unlocked grade 2. At this point, we can go ahead and click on grade 2 without technically finishing grade 1. That's okay. Grade 1 will be completed with our first roll on grade 2. Once again, we already know the materials needed, so spin that wheel until we get to grade 3. Grade 3. 
All right, and same deal with grade three. Okay, now let's see how far we can get with grade four. Okay, we've unlocked grade five, but we already knew we didn't have the materials to do grade five. That's okay. Grade four is still a huge improvement over stock. So let's finish out grade four. <laughs> well, that's the fun of random number generators. We got within a tenth of a percent of the maximum for grade four with the materials we had. So I'm gonna call that close enough. Last important point. Now that we've got the highest access grade, make sure you pin this blueprint. This will allow you to make the same upgrades on this ship or your other ships at remote workshops without having to come back to the engineer shop on this planet. Keep in mind you can only pin one type of upgrade or blueprint per engineer, so pick the one you're going to use the most for your fleet. And also, the grade of the pinned blueprint will only go as high as the grade you've unlocked when you pin it. So in this case, I'll have a grade 5 pinned blueprint. Now, in addition to the upgrades we just saw, you can also apply an experimental effect, which is basically just another bonus for that module. There's no grades for it, this is just a one-time thing. I'm not going to do that here, but you can use ED Engineer just like before to see the materials required and bring those ahead of time, which I didn't. Ah well. Also, keep in mind that you can only add experimental effects at the engineer's shop. You can't pin these to do these later at remote workshops. Now let's go back and check out the other type of upgrade that Selene can do, which is hull reinforcement. When we start here, you'll notice that we're already at the maximum grade for Selene from our previous armor upgrades. So our upgrade rolls now should be much better. Let's give it a whirl. I'll go with the heavy duty hull reinforcement upgrade. And sure enough, it only took one spin to do grade one. Yep, only took two rolls there. Now on to grade three. And grade three only took four rolls. And I already know I don't have the materials for grade four. So that'll wrap up this session with Miss Celine. It's been a pleasure. So, that's engineering in a nutshell. As you can see, a little upfront preparation makes the whole thing pretty straightforward. And if you do have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you found this video helpful, please leave me a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Let me know what you'd like to see on here next. That's it for me. Fly dangerously, Commanders. I'll see you next time.